Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're answering some assumptions about me. Part 2. I did one assumptions video and I enjoyed doing it so I asked on Instagram for more assumptions and I got them. So we're going to do that. If you're not already following my Instagram, this is my Instagram. I will link it on the iCard up there. This is my Instagram. Go follow me. So I get all my Q&A questions from, my assumptions from, and video requests from. The first one is, you're short. I mean, I am short. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend that I'm like 5 foot 8 or something. <laughs> I'm 5 foot 2. But fun fact, I am taller than my mother. My mom is four foot eleven. <laughs> my the middle sister is five foot four, and my littlest sister is five foot one. So I'm going to be the shortest child. <laughs> You're a cracking sniper on GTA 5. I am pretty good at sniping on GTA 5. You wouldn't believe it, but I, I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm also pretty good at evading 5 stars. Yeah, I want to get a TV so when the next PlayStation comes out, I can get GTA 6 when it comes out. So, yeah, there is that. Next is, you love ducks. I do love ducks. Ducks. Christmas ducks, but ducks. I also have a ducky calendar. I'll see a picture of my duck calendar. Ducks are my special interest to anyone who doesn't know. Yes, I'm autistic shock I know apparently it's pretty obvious I can't see it but I have been diagnosed with autism so yeah ducks are my special interest though I have duck stickers I have duck scrapbook I've got a duck bag ducks are cool next one is you're manipulative Okay, so this one, we need to talk for this one. I wouldn't say I'm manipulative all the time, but my BPD can make me quite manipulative. I can get very manipulative to get my own way. And I haven't been manipulative since leaving hospital two years ago. I kind of worked on myself a lot in that admission, so I wouldn't say I'm that manipulative anymore. I used to I used to be really manipulative. But I do know how to get my own way. So call that manipulative if you want. Next, you're a lesbian. Well, I don't know. I personally don't find men sexually attractive. And I don't really get the whole sex thing. If anyone doesn't know, I've never had consensual sex. So, I am definitely more attracted to girls. And there's one girl that I've got a huge crush on. There's a slight issue though, she's straight. I'm in love with the straight girl. Next is, you have a short temper. Temper. Hmm. I do. So, I, I do have a short temper. It doesn't take a lot to piss me off. And once I'm pissed off, run. <laughs> you smoke? No, I don't. I've never sm I tried to roll up a cigarette once for one of my exes. And I literally couldn't I couldn't work out how to do it. I've never smoked though. I, I've tried weed once, 
and it made me so paranoid I would never smoke it again you come from a rich family I don't if I did I would not be living in supported living say that I did get a substantial amount of inheritance money off my great granddad when he passed away in 2015 I haven't touched that money since I got it I got my first camera with it this camera I got my first MacBook and I got some clothes spent a lot of money at, at Thought Park amusement but other than that I haven't touched that money since it's just in a savings account in my lawyer's account it's just money that I don't feel comfortable touching and that goes compl that gets complicated with my trauma because I was there when he died and it's very it, it did traumatise me But yeah, my family is not rich. We're not struggling for food or anything. Well, we're not. I, I am, but sucks to me. Next one is you hate your scars. I do hate my scars. That's why I got them covered up with tattoos. The ones I hate. I like that and on this arm there they really bother me and I can't get tattoos on them because it would it, it would interfere with the tattoos I've already got I don't want that I like the tattoos that I have and I don't want to ruin them so I try not to think about it too often and so far that, that's worked okay you don't drink alcohol I do not I might have had a slip up boxing day last year, but I haven't touched alcohol since. Despite me wanting vodka. Because of my drink. But the issue is, is when I drink, I drink a lot. If you haven't heard this boxing day story, I will try and remember to link the relapse video I did up there. But basically on boxing day, I drank an entire bottle of vodka threw up, got sent to bed without my meds and it just wasn't pleasant to anybody I in, in a family group chat I ended up messaging saying I'm so sorry that I drank so much hope I haven't ruined the day Next is you were low key a wild girl in your younger days. So from the age of 18 till 20, I was a very heavy alcohol user and cocaine user. Oops. But I went out every night to different clubs and honestly the amount of money that I must have spent on alcohol probably could have paid my rent for a few months in London I wouldn't say I was a wild girl I don't think drinking every day turns and makes me wild I think it makes me an idiot you were a popular kid in high school quite the opposite <laughs> Quite the opposite. I was bullied all through school. It wasn't fun. But yeah, I was, was I was bullied all through school. I didn't have any stable friendships. Oh, that's lovely. You're fat. Thanks. I haven't waved myself today, but yesterday when I waved myself, I was... 63.8 kilograms which is better than what it was I'm losing weight slowly so that's good 
And the last one, what is you miss living at home? I do. I miss living at my grandparents the most. So anyone who doesn't know, in my second year of studying in London, I, well, at the end of my first year, I moved in with a drug dealer. And that was the last time I used cocaine as well. But then he kicked me out over nothing. So, yeah, I moved in with my grandparents. Because me and my mum don't get on when we live together. And it was such a nice summer. I just wish it could have been... There's a wasp trying to break through the glass. That sucks. But I do miss living with my family. Because I do live very far away from them. But yeah, that's all the assumptions I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe.